Hello guys, it's Aloy from ambieffect.com. Uh, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to add colors to an implicit shape. Since drop 4 in TP, we have the option to assign a color based on um, biparticle or based on UV. I will show you a fast a way to add um, the UV's coordinates on this object so we can apply any texture over it. Right now the setup is very simple. Yep, sorry about that. So what we have, it, it's a tutorial to show you only the way to do it, so I will not go in depth. Uh, we, we are creating particles on the node that it's our teapot. We are placing these particles on the surface. Uh, as you can see on the surface position we have access to the UV information of the object that we are using a teapot. Can be whatever object we want. We have gravity. This is our flow system. Uh, these are the objects where we are colliding, the parameters of our fluid, the solver, and here we have the implicit shape. Uh, this is new on uh, drop 4 and the data to mapping channel, so we have access to the UV information, color, and different vectors to create different. Um, vertex color materials. So we can use one object for the, the texture and other information for um, reflection or whatever you want to change over time. So let's do it very fast. If we apply a material here you will see that um, we will not have this. So I will create a, a material, a bitmap material. I have this texture drag and drop to the material instance. I saw that there is a bug in the latest TP. Simply refresh and you will see that your material is there. You are using material ID 1, is what we have. And uh, what we need is a data, a data channel. Uh, right now it's minus 1, so it's not guiding anything. To create a new data channel, simply go to your group. My group is the fluid. We have data channels here. We will create a UV information on this data channel. And it's important that you select a point 0.3 because it's what we need. We will click on Add. Now we see that we have our data channel created. That it's data channel 0. If we create other data channels, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4. Right now it's 0. Uh, we, we need to fit data to our particles. Um, for this we need a particle, we can create a data channel, I don't recommend that, uh, you can use this, but I like more particle data. It's kind of the same, the only difference here you will fit your, your information inside your, you will create a point 0.3, you will choose a data channel that you want, but if you have a lot of data channels it can be confusing. I prefer the particle data. It's exactly the same. Mm. The only difference is that here when we select our, our particles, automatically it says that the data channels that we have, so it's you cannot confuse with the numbers. We plug our UV information, so okay. Let's try to comment better that. Um, we have our particles are fit onto this surface post that is reading this node, that is a teapot. So this is reading also the UVs. And we are feeding to each particle, we are feeding the UVs from the position that they are created. As simple as that. And the only thing that we need to do now is to say, okay, or UVs are coming from data channel 0 and we'll go to mapping ID 1. All this done, map, map channel 1. If we select to show our material, this should work. Simply refresh your, you need to go back in time and you see that the texture is there. You can change the tiling or the offset and you see the, how it's applied. Uh, this can be very useful to well, whatever, mappings or whatever you want. 
and you see that it's a stick to the to the object. So now we have our object falling down and with the texture applied. Uh, if we increment the resolution, the, the texture will be better applied, also with more textures, uh, more textures, more information, better quality you will have. Uh, but well, I am doing this on the fly, it's not cache, as you can see it's pretty fast and my computer is a pretty low res one. So that's all, uh, as you can see it's very easy. Other ways you can do that, I can explain you in another tutorial, but we can use also, instead of using the UV information, we can use the colors from the particles, so you can uh, fit particles, uh, colors from your particles uh, as a um, vertex map information color. Also, other ways to acquire the UVs is with... Um, you can use an intersect. I will not explain that node, but you can check some tutorials. But basically, every particle is uh, shooting a ray in different direction, the direction you want, and you can acquire the, the UVs from the, the object that you are uh, it's intersecting. And another way to do that will be you can reference to these particles also with a P search, for example. This is TP, so you can do whatever you want. Uh, you can use also geometric nodes with geom point you can acquire the UVs inf information from the from the closest point on an object um, you know this is TV so feel free to experiment with it hope this is useful for you uh, 